Hey guys, welcome to Toolbox Buzz. Saturday morning, we are in Connecticut and we are doing a cordless chainsaw head to head. Let's uh, take a quick walk over and let me show you what we're doing. So over here, we've got, uh, we've got 12 chainsaws that we're testing. And uh, over here we have a, an arborist, a tree climber. He is using the saws and kind of getting a feel for them, testing ergonomics, power, uh, weight, comfort. And I'm gonna turn the camera around. Hold on, here we go. So we're using this dead tree here and uh, who knew he'd have to come to work on a Saturday, right? <laughs> Two box buzz crew never rest, gentlemen. All right, so we are uh, just testing the saws here and we're getting a feel for them. There's no real like actual grade on this test. It's all just uh, how he feels. It's a lot of um, ergonomics, functionality, features, speed, power. He's looking at a lot of different, uh, evaluating all those different things. He's just taking notes on the saws. So there's no real test on this. And the reason why we're just cutting cookies out of the tree is because we want to make sure we have enough wood for all the saws that we're cutting. But eventually this tree will come down. Um, we're just going to take it down in small pieces right now. All right, so. So from there, we have over here a uh, runtime test. So for the runtime test, we have a maple tree that we pulled out. We strapped to the Kubota tractor and we're cutting cookies. And we're cutting about, I don't know, maybe one inch, half inch cookies. Um, five cuts, 20, 25 seconds rest, five more cuts. Try not to overheat the tools. Um, but at the same time, we want them to work. So. We're doing some testing. I'll take you over here. We'll show you that test. And um, we just tested one saw. This is the results right here. I'm not gonna tell you which saw that is, but that's uh, 31 cookies. It's about a 14 inch tree. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? We're live. How's it going? Good. Good. Don't mind me. <laughs> Playing with the uh, Eco, nice. Have you made any cuts with it yet? Yeah, about 15. What do you think? Good. It's a nice saw. All right, let's see it. Is that the battery? That'd be the battery. All right, we'll have to test it, check it. So that would be 16 cuts on this. What's the radius of this tree again? Uh, it's 15 and a half. 15 and a half. I guessed 14, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. And then over here, guys. So uh, over here, I'll show you in a second. We have um, a plunge test, which is gonna be kind of a pretty aggressive test when we get, when we get going. Uh, we're gonna set it up right over here and we're gonna plunge into some wood. I'll, uh, I'll probably do a live when we do that. We're, we're leaving that for last. We've got duplicates of batteries, um, all, the, all of them are charged, all of them are oiled. We've gone through the safety test and uh, checked all the tension and uh, it's pretty cool. We got, let me see, what do we got here? These are waiting to be tested. We've got the cobalt, Greenworks, steel. That's the Oregon saw, Ryobi, Milwaukee saw and the ego we've already tested the ego this is a pretty cool saw here this is the uh i think it's the pulse pulse 62 volt chainsaw by oregon very nice let's talk to wes for a second toolbox buzz crew member hey wes we are live hey what's going say on? hi to everybody good to see you guys Thanks well, for joining us. wes tell me about the plunge cut what are we doing over there oh okay so basically what we're going to be doing is a torture test to really put these things and, you know, see what kind of grunt they actually have. We're going to perform a rip cut or more commonly referred to for chainsaw guys as noodling. So noodling is a technique that you would use to break down a really, really big round that you otherwise wouldn't be able to manage on your own. And basically you're making a rip cut through a log. You stand it on its end and you're making a perpendicular rip cut through the grain of it. And it's really, really demanding on a chainsaw because it creates these long noodle-like strands of chip and it's, it's very hard on a saw. 
So I'm curious to see if these battery power jobs are going to be able to do that because traditionally you need a pretty decent sized gas powered cell to do something like that. That's awesome. But that's why we want to see, you know, hey, can these keep up where, you know, your traditional gas saws have always really kind of uh, controlled the market and been the go to for people. Yep, yep. So, now what do you got in your hands here? You got a. Uh... Well, this is the DeWalt Flex Bolt. Yep. It just came out of the bucket that our tree cutter over there was testing out. And, uh, you know, he said that he was pretty impressed with the power. Um, however, one thing that we're kind of seeing is tool companies that are trying to make a chainsaw, a lot of times aren't thinking about the things that arborists are thinking about. So, for instance, this saw here, you have to use this thumb to release the lever right. to then pull safety. The, the safety switch to then pull the trigger to get, get the saw to engage. Well, for a tree guy, that's completely counterintuitive. It's kind of a pain. Yeah. So he is not a big fan of that. As opposed to Husqvarna, which is a company that makes power equipment first and is now trying to come to the battery power they've market. Got the handlebar they've there. gone for that traditional tang uh, tang release yeah. to then get to the uh, uh, control switch here. So he was a big fan of that. And so far he said, well, we had an issue with blade chain. We're gonna try and square this away right now where the chain kind of untensions itself on us and we're gonna see if we can sort through that. But so far he said, you know, this was, so far one of the most realistic options for a true professional so yeah well they i mean they're, they're into chainsaws right i mean that's, that's i have a husky thing. at home a that's gas powered thing. one and i've had one for years so it's they know chainsaws husky. you think chainsaw you think steel and husky. that's right that's really it so. that's right well i'm looking forward to the noodle test yeah, yeah um along, i was just bit. brought the guys over we just did the um we did the eco echo uh i think we got 16 15 or 16 rips here cookies excellent okay. and uh, we're gonna do another saw on this okay awesome and we've been trying to pull the same size log same species yep. to do that mm -hmm. test and then uh as as we just knew we went over there and we've got the climber just testing the saws and kind of getting some tool usage and stuff like that right so. yeah and that you know a really really good application limbing up a standing dead tree so that's yeah right a great so for us to get data so that's that for this live it's just a short live for right now seven minutes long we'll try to jump back in later with some more tools um i don't want to bore you with the same saws cutting the same wood over and over again but i wanted to give you a sneak peek of what's coming in a few weeks the head-to-head -head test for chainsaws will come out wes is heading it up he's going to be writing it i'll be doing the video and uh, we're looking forward to uh, getting it out to you guys. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. I can figure out how to turn it off now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get a let's put a battery in the wall. Okay, let's put a battery in the wall.